What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Sam R71 here bringing us another video. Today I'm bringing us a video on Power Morphicon, and this will be on Power Morphicon 2020. We just got information talking about Power Morphicon. And before I start that, I want to give people who are not familiar a little bit of an idea of what Power Morphicon is so that people have some idea if you have never been to one or have not heard of this. Um, this will be relatively brief. I could probably go into Power Morphicon a lot more because this is I've gone to Power Morphicon in the past a uh, number of times and um, I'm planning on going to this one. This will actually be my fourth one and I'm just going to give you guys a little brief rundown on it. So Power Morphicon is a biannual bi event. It's been going on for the um, since 2007, though in 2007 it was the one year that happened during an odd year. Uh, typically Power Morphicon occurs during an even year and is biannual, though with the change of people who were running it, uh, it became a biannual thing, which is is always a good which is a good thing. Um, so as far as what is Power Morphicon, Power Morphicon is the largest Power Rangers convention that happens once every two years. Um, it typically happens during the summertime, and what what occurs in it is that it is the first place where people can see the next series cast. It is the first place to see the trailer for the, the cast, to see brand new products that you you likely have never seen before and maybe the first time that they're revealed to the public ever. Um, you will also get to see products that will be coming out in the following year. So like for example, the next one's in 2020. So you'll be seeing products for 2021. Um, so just keep that in mind that you'll get that early look at that. You'll get the first look at the new cast. You'll get the an opportunity to get things signed by the um, current cast of the show, meet them, talk with them. There's opportunities to just hang out and chill. There's a point where you get to party with the actors from various seasons. You know, there's just a lot of really fun opportunities and stuff. There are actors from every single season typically represented, though some seasons show up more so than others. Some seasons may have one actor. Some seasons will have every single actor. Many times over, they tend to do more actors when it is an anniversary. So for example, in 2016, they had the Time Force cast have all the actors that were still alive and around show up. For those who do not know, the actor that played Mr. Collins is not alive anymore, but all the actors that are alive did show up. So that was a very big deal at the time, and it was the first time that Kate Sheldon, I believe, had shown up to a convention and she played Nadira. And I don't, I think for, um, the actor that played uh, Frax as well it was his first time as well. But he's shown up now before, so it's very cool. Um, otherwise, it's a lot of fun. You do see actors from Super Sentai. There's a lot of representation for Super Sentai and for Kamen Rider there. People dress up, people do cosplay. It's a ton of fun. There's special events such as going to locations from the show, whether it be the command center or whether it be locations where uh, scenes were filmed from the show, you name it. There's a lot of really cool opportunities that are often um, housed at this convention that you cannot do on a normal, if you are just a, a regular person because they're usually off limits areas or areas that you wouldn't think about or wouldn't know where they are. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, and a lot of really cool things do happen at this and there are plenty of convention exclusive things that happen there whether it be exclusive items such as figures merchandise and other things um, or whether it be just experiences in general that you cannot find anywhere else um, otherwise that's about it that i could say up front there's a lot more i can go into detail if anyone is curious but let me get started with the information for the 2020 power morphicon so what can I say? Power Morphicon 2020 is going to happen September 4th through the 6th. Um, this is unusual for Power Morphicon because in the past it's always been mid-August. Um, and usually what that means is that that happens that week and the following week typically you'll see the first episode of the fall half of Power Rangers for whatever the current uh, season is. So for example, last year when Power Morphicon... Uh, 2018 happened the following week I'm pr I believe um, if I'm not mistaken was the first episode of the fall season of Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel um, so most likely next so it's a, a little different because since it's so much later the show may either happen uh, may have a have it where they they wait till um, 
the second week of September, or they may take a week off depending on how they choose to run things. The reason why I would say that is because many times over, they tend to do a, pre a major preview of what you can expect from the, the fall half of the current season. Um, and so the fact that they're doing it so late could imply that they may either decide to have a week off where there's no episode releasing because then people will be missing an episode of the show while they're at the convention. Or what will happen is, is that they will um, wait till after the convention to release the first episode. Either options are, are a good possibility, um, but I'm just saying that in general that I could see both being a possibility in general. Um, so just giving you guys that heads up. Um, now, as far as other information goes, when can you buy tickets? Tickets are gonna go on sale this August, which has always been the case. It's usually when, when first information is dropped, Typically, August is when we'll get tickets. Now, as far as when tickets will be available, the date has not been confirmed. Um, in, la, during Power Morphicon 2018, tickets went on sale at the very beginning of August, but as of now, we do not have a clear idea as to whether or not it will be the very beginning of August or if it will be a couple of days into the month. Um, as of now, we don't know that information. Um, now, as far as things go, um, Power Morphicon is also um, known for having different membership levels. What that means is that there are certain uh, ticket values that are higher and lower and include certain things. So if you get a lower ticket value, you'll only get certain items when you come into the convention versus if you have a higher one where you can go to certain events and certain exclusive things that are only available within that um, ticket range. So the highest level ones you can get all the exclusive stuff and you can you can get a lot more stuff versus if you only have just the bare minimum ticket um ones where you'll you only get a select few items or or certain things that come um when you pick up your membership um, so just keep that in mind in general um, now, as far as things go, otherwise, we should also be learning more information over the course of the next six weeks. What that means is that we'll be learning information regarding what is the main hotel for the convention, what are the means of transportation, such as shuttle and other kinds of transportation that will be available, and any other special deals that um, may be necessary to learn, as well as information regarding um, different tickets and what they will include and likely will also include the exclusive item as well so that people will have some idea of what the exclusives will be for the convention. Typically, we may only get one of them to start and then later on they'll reveal what the second or third um, convention exclusive items are. But uh, just keep it in mind, it's as of now as to what those will be, we don't know. Last Power Morphicon, the exclusives were the three following items, which were the Legacy Lord Draken figure, the um, um, Black and Gold Megazord Pop, that was convention exclusive, and also the um, Shattered Grid number 25, that was the Lord Draken um, version 3, I believe it was. Um, cover art which was a convention exclusive print of the 25th comic at the time um, those were the exclusives back then as to what the exclusives will be by the time that we reach that convention who knows it could be comic number 50 or it could be much later or much earlier we really don't know for sure i'm guessing probably something around 50 might be realistic in reality, uh, if not a little later than that, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, as far as what exclusive I could imagine them doing otherwise, I could imagine them doing a lightning collection figure since that is the current figure line that they're doing. So could be another comic one. People have been asking for a while for them to do figures of either the Dark Ranger from the comics, Solar Ranger, or the whole set of Solar Rangers, or um, other Lord Draken forms or Ranger Slayer. You know, those are some very popular requests. Um, people have also wanted the Hyperforce Rangers to get figures, but again, I don't know for sure about any of those as of now, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but just in general, I'm very much so excited for Power Morphicon. As more information comes out, I will be discussing it, and I'd love to know what your guys' opinions of what of that this information is are you planning going to power morphicon uh if so um what um 
what are your thoughts on it? Um, and if you have any questions or if you've never been before, um, you can always contact me. I am going to be around a lot. I'm a I'm a, a veteran of the area. I know what food options there are. I know um, all sorts of stuff about the convention itself. Even if I don't know like what they're doing for this specific convention, I usually have a pretty good idea of how the convention works, how to get around, what things you need to keep in mind when you're going to this convention, what things are available to you, you know, and all that and more since I've gone so many years now. So if you need any help at all, don't be a stranger. Please ask because I will very easily uh, give you guys some suggestions because um, I've gone several times in the past. I've, I've gone typically as the platinum status, which is the higher status. I've gone one year as silver. Um, that was my first year just because I was just kind of testing things out and I wasn't really sure how much I was going to like it or not. But when I really started to learn that I loved it, uh, I started going platinum and it's the difference is worth it but not the, but at the same time it's not essential it, it, again it, it doesn't make or break things however it doesn't hurt to have it because you do get certain perks and benefits um so otherwise that's been it for me guys please remember to like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think and i'd love to hear your guys opinions below so until then guys i'm crazy samurai one and goodbye guys